Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a collaboration. Oh, why did I say it like that? Hi everybody, today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I'm doing a collaboration with EXO Miss Lar. I think I'm saying that right, I'm not sure. It's easier to read and then when you pronounce it, it comes out like totally different. She just started out with her YouTube videos. She has a couple of them out already. She has a fashion blog and she's also on Instagram. She posts a lot of fashion type of outfit of the days and things like that. She's all about encouraging women to go after their dreams and I love that about her. I'm going to link her information in the description box below. So check out her video, show her some love, tell her I sent you guys. We decided to do our top 10 favorite drugstore products under $10. For me that was really hard to do only because lately there have been so many great drugstore products which I do have a haul coming up so stay tuned for that. I went through my entire makeup collection, I pulled out products that I've loved for a really long time. I've narrowed it down to my top 10-ish. In some instances, I didn't know which one to choose, so I decided to choose both of them. But I tried to choose a product in every category in the order of kind of how we would apply our makeup. So many of these are like oldies but goodies for me because I have been using them for so long. They're my tried and true all-time favorite drugstore products. Favorite, favorite, holy grail foundation from the drugstore is the L'Oreal True Match. I am in the color Sun Beige. In the I mix it in with a little bit of Revlon's, what is this, Photo Ready Skin Light. And oh gosh, it makes it look so pretty. It gives you like, that glow from within. For contour, I chose L'Oreal's True Match. This one is in the shade N678. This is marketed as a concealer, but I love using this as a contour. What I do is after I apply my foundation, I just kind of carve out my cheekbones, put a little bit on my forehead, maybe even on my nose, and just use this as an all-over contour. It is a creamy product, um, so I kind of prefer these over powdered products to contour only because I feel like they blend out easier. I really do enjoy using this one. This one is my favorite. As you can see, I'm all out. There's no more getting out of this sucker, so yeah. I can still use it a little bit, which I did today. I managed to contour my face with this, and yeah, this is one of my favorite products from the drugstore to contour with. Less than $10. Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer. This one is in shade 20. What I do is I apply this first under my under eye, apply this over top of that and just blend it out. I do like using these two together and this is Maybelline's Dream Lumi. This is a highlighter and a concealer although I would categorize it more as a highlighter. This does have a tendency to crease a little bit underneath my eyelids. My eyelids? No. This does have the tendency to crease under my eyes so what I do is apply it, blend it out and I quickly pat it out with some powder just to kind of set it and that helps it crease less. For bronzers, this is another category that was really, really easy for me. And I'm sure you guys probably have heard this from so many other YouTubers. It's a great product for less than $10, less than $5, I think. And this is NYC's Sunny Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. So I use this to contour, I use it to apply an all over bronzer. It's just that perfect matte shade that's not too dark, not too light. It goes good with my complexion and there's not much to say about this. This will be a holy grail for me for a long time. For blush, that was a little bit hard for me to pick one only because I love the blushes from NYX and I love the blushes from Milani. If I had to choose one, oh, it depends. If it was during the summertime, definitely I would choose this one. This is Luminoso. This one is really comparable to NARS's Orgasm. And it looks like this. It's just this beautiful, peachy, glowy kind of shade that's so pretty for the summertime. This is the kind of color that looks great on everybody. I'm wearing this color here by NYX, it's in Mocha. If you guys haven't tried out NYX blushes, I would highly recommend them. They have so many different shades. Their blushes are super pigmented, really affordable. My all-time favorite from the drugstore has to be Hard Candy's Tiki. It's marketed as a bronzer, but it's really light. It's what I'm wearing down the center of my nose, over my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, and over my cheeks. 
this gives the perfect golden glow to the skin the powder is so finely finely milled that there's no shimmer in it whatsoever i love a good highlighter i don't like a shimmery highlighter my skin can get a bit oily sometimes and i am prone to having larger pores in this area so i don't, I don't want any sparkly shimmers over my face to kind of emphasize that so i do enjoy using this bronzer this is beautiful and a lot of you guys may have this already but if you don't you need this in your life may even take the place over some high-end highlighters that i own i really really do enjoy this product there's so many good drugstore mascaras it was kind of hard to choose one i did narrow it down to two the first one is this one here it's power volume collagen i busted this bad boy out recently i've been using it for a month but i absolutely love it i love the formula it's just i reach for it every time i never remember the name of this thing but when i go to do my makeup and it's time for me to apply my mascara I, i'm just like where is it the black tube the black tube it's here somewhere so i'm like looking frantically for it so i'm always looking for this one and that's how I know that I absolutely love a product. Before I started using this one, I was using this all the time. And this is the Falsies by Maybelline. This is another product that gives you great, great, great volume. If you're into volume like I am, then you would appreciate something like this. And if you're into volume, then you would like this a lot more. Battle of the Mascaras. Hmm. I wonder who would win the test. I don't know. I'm going to have to try that out. But I have to say, this one really gives a lot of volume. When I use this, I don't even feel the need to put on any falsies at all, whatsoever. It's that good. Trust me. Try it. You'll thank me later. I don't know what number I'm on. I think I have more than 10, but I'm going to keep going. As far as eyeshadows from the drugstore, um, what I really wanted to do was give it to Makeup Geek. Because Makeup Geek has drugstore prices even though you can't buy them at the drugstore. Marlena, I i don't know if you're ever going to watch this, but if you ever do, you... Shh, drugstore. Drugstore. If we can buy you at the drugstore, that would be awesome. I have to give it up to NYX. NYX has some really good shadows. They have these cute little palettes. This one is the Bronze Smoky Look Kit. I think I got this off of Hot Look. Some people say Hot Look, Hot Look but this one as you can see has a bunch of bronzy shades in it that's so pretty to use for the summertime this is not the only kit that i love this is just an example of it this is so cute so compact it has a nice little mirror there easy to travel with the colors are pretty they're pigmented they're products you can't go wrong with that you really can't go wrong with them but to give an honorable mention the color tattoos are so pigmented they last all day you can use them alone you can use them as bases underneath other shadows color tattoos oh, so pretty and the best part is when they have the buy one get one half off and when they do i like to pick up any new shade the shades that i am wearing on my eyelids though are audacious asphalt as a base it's this nice um pewter would would you consider that pewter 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 it's rich, it's pigmented, it's absolutely stunning. So I have this on as a base, and I have this shade on top. It's Burnt Plum. This is by e.l.f. I think this is either $1 or $3 or something like that. You can wear them wet, you can wear them dry. They're super pretty, super pigmented. You can get these at Target, you can buy them online. e.l.f. has some amazing products for ridiculously affordable prices pencil here this is maybelline's definer brow i have a love-hate relationship with this one because sometimes i love it other times i'm like eh. the only reason that is is because when i'm usually rushing especially to do my brows if i'm rushing i tend to have a heavy hand and when i have a heavy hand i don't like how this product comes out with this pencil you have to use a light light hand if you think you're already using a light hand with this go even lighter that's the only way that this pencil works for me where i absolutely love it the tip is so pointy slim it's perfect for just getting in there a little bit goes a long way with my brows all i have to do is just a sparse area so it's easy to go too heavy and then i just look like i have sharpie brows on but which way do i look like i i hope that's not what they look like today because i use this pencil 
Still, either way, it made it to my top 10 because it's a really good product. I bought this time and time again. For lip products, it was impossible to narrow it down to one. I am a lip junkie. So I'm just going to show you one that I'm loving at the moment. Sony Keshex Velvety Matte Lip Crayons. I haven't heard people really talking about these, but these are so good. This color here is in Mulberry Nude. It's so on trend. It's like that mauve nude berry kind of color. Touch of Spice is another beautiful, beautiful shade. It's definitely on trend with the whole, you know, Kylie Jenner kind of lip thing. That Jordana's Tawny Lip Liner. I really do love these lip liners. They're creamy. They're the ones that retract like this, which I appreciate more than the ones that you need to sharpen because I'm lazy. I don't want to sharpen my pencils. I just want to twist it up, use them, and that's it. It broke in pieces. There's still some on the floor. So after this, I will be cleaning up powder. Oh, I need to get another one. Oh, I might have a backup, but probably not because I think one of my daughters broke my first one. I went to get a second one and I just broke it. I just have bad luck with these. Mm, I love these powders so much. Great eye. Milani makes great eye pencils. This one is the Milani Liquid Eye Liquid Like Eyeliner Pencil. I love these. They glide on. They're creamy. They're pigment. As if I'm swatching. They're creamy. They're pigment. They're creamy. Let's try it again. They're creamy. They're pigmented. They glide on. These are great. That's it for my top picks. I know I probably had more than ten. Um, but with drugstore products, there's there's so many good products. So much Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't had a chance, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos. Let me know what you guys want to see and I'll see you in the next video.